actually been working on is taking the logarithm, evaluating the logarithm, right? We've just been working on, eva or I'm sorry, transferring something from logarithmic to exponential form. But we haven't really talked too much about what exactly a logarithm is, right? All right, so let's go back to, again, where does even the logarithm come from? Remember, we had an equation. We had y equals b to the x. That was our exponential function we last talked about. Then I said, what if we tried to take the inverse of this, right? So you swap x and y. And then I said, solve for y. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that kind of comes up to a little problem, right? Because how are you going to take the, how are you going to solve for y when it's raised up and as an exponent? So then what we did is we say, well, a way we could solve for it is say y equals log base b of x. So what log base b of x really is asking you is b raised to what power equals x, right? So y equals b raised to what power gives me x. So let's look at this problem. What this is saying is 3 raised to what power is going to give you 81. So if I say to evaluate this, I'll say it again. 3 raised to what power gives you our value y. So 3 raised to I'm sorry, 3 raised to what power gives us 81. So let's think about it. 3 3 squared would be 9. 3 cubed is 27 and 3 to the fourth power. So we could say 3 raised to the fourth power equals 81. Now, let's transfer this to exponential form and see if it makes sense. If I was to write this in exponential form, it'd be 3 to the fourth power equals 81. Is that still a true statement? Yeah. Yes. So do you guys kind of have a little bit of an idea of what the logarithm is saying? Saying 3 raised to what power gives us 81, which in this, in this example is going to be a value of 4. Okay, we're gonna do some we're gonna do some more practice on these. I'm just gonna give you guys one more example.